comparing the international version on the left and the US version of the Note 20 Ultra. Different processor. The international version has the Exynos processor and the US version has a Snapdragon processor. And uh, the international version is dual SIM, the US version no. Now we are comparing the international version on the left and the Chinese version on the right side. Here again we see the difference on the processor. The international version has the Exynos and the Chinese version has the Snapdragon version. And both versions have dual SIM. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Today I am going to talk about a topic that is been quite uh, frustrating for me uh, for years now, uh, which is the thing of the different mobile versions from same smartphone models in the different countries in the world. I am not referring to the differences that are between the different networks, it is normal and I understand that the uh, United States and Canada will have different networks than we have in Spain. I think it's understandable. I mean, I think it uh, shouldn't have a difference between the networks uh, in the world, but that's uh, another topic. Uh, as we have different networks, then yes, we need different mobile versions but the problem is not only these uh, network differences there are also functionality related differences in this video i am going to talk about the samsung uh, brand is the brand i've been checking for years so i can provide uh, more accurate examples i've realized about these uh, different mobile versions between countries because i had and um, actually still have um, two different uh, sim cards so in the spanish version i was aware that they didn't have dual sim but as the contrary, I saw that the S8 was advertised as dual SIM. So I started noticing in the marketplaces that uh, there was a Spanish version and, for example, an Italian version. That was quite uh, surprising for me uh, because I didn't know what was the difference uh, because at the end uh, you can change easily the language from uh, one to another in every smartphone. So looking into the specifications, I noticed that the Italian version uh, wouldn't work for uh, Samsung Pay in Spain, for example, and the Spanish version wouldn't work in Italy. But this was okay, so it's normal that as we have different uh, banks, uh, one version wouldn't work in other country, it's again understandable. But looking into other versions, I realized there was an international version that had dual SIM. This was great, at the end I end up uh, buying this international version from Hong Kong. It uh, didn't took that long. Um, also this version was uh, cheaper, so it was great to have more than the version from Spain at less price. Uh, it was good news, but at the end uh, you are buying a product from other country which implies uh, risks and uh, probably customs problems and other warranty things associated. But I bought the phone, everything arrived correctly, it was the international version I received the dual SIM version, so it was great. Uh, everything was working really good. So I forgot about these different uh, mobile versions topic. Until years later, um, I've been wanting to buy a Samsung Galaxy Note uh, from a year now. You would say, wow, you've been waiting uh, so long. Um, but the thing is, um, my Samsung Galaxy S8 is working good. I have no issue with it. So I don't want to buy a phone when 
the one I have now it's working good uh, I would feel bad about it so as I was uh, with no hurry I started looking for uh, this note uh, more specifically not the note 20 which is the most recent one I am talking about the note 10 plus uh, which uh, yeah you would say why why do you want the previous version well that's uh, for another video okay but yes that's the version I want so I started looking for it and more surprises with the different uh, functionalities in different countries came up for example for this Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus there was this European version that has a dual SIM but for example it has different processor than the North American version can someone explain me why do we have different processors between countries? I am talking about same smartphone model, same brand, same model. Why do we have this difference? Because this being a very polemic point in Europe and many of us in Europe want to have the Snapdragon processor because it behaves better at least nowadays than the Exynos processor so why do we have to end with an Exynos processor that also costs more than the Snapdragon version from the United States it feels so unfair and that was not the only thing also the European version as I said it was dual sim but on the contrary, the North American version from United States and Canada was single SIM. So, why, why do we have those two differences? I was really thinking that there was a hardware problem that didn't allow to have Snapdragon plus dual SIM together in the phone, maybe because of space, maybe because of compatibility, I didn't know. Was the Snapdragon version exclusive to the single SIM? Whether the Exynos was able to have the dual SIM? Uh, well, I really thought that until I discovered that the Chinese version had both of them, Snapdragon and dual SIM. Okay, so there seems not to be explanation for this, um, why European people can have dual sim but not the snapdragon why north americans can have a uh, snapdragon but not uh, dual sim south america i think they have also the same version as europe or similar and chinese people are blessed with the snapdragon and dual sim well there is no explanation in my plate for it. If any of you is able to provide an answer to this, please let me know down below in the comments. I would love to read it. So yes, at least I found uh, the version I want. So just I need to, to get it. Um, the problem is, as I said before, as you are buying it from other country, you could have more problems. Uh, with a warranty etc so it's uh, more risky also it could be more expensive because of the import fees but if it is the version I want I will need to deal with it and another thing that I notice is there are even web pages that are selling these uh, products these uh, smartphones without the version number which means you can buy a smartphone thinking it has some specs and then when it arrives it will have others so it's very important that we are aware and careful about the product we buy so that's it for today's video it was more a complaint but I think it's really important for us as consumers to raise our voice with this issue because uh, we have the right to have the same version in every country because we are paying for an advertised product and we all deserve the same. I really hope in the future this will change and more people is aware of it. So thank you very much for watching and see you in my next one.